I will say this, when I was 12 years old, curiosity got the best of me <laughs> when I was on Rotten.com and I watched a beheading and it messed me up for years. It's black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods, yeah. <laughs> oh, let's go. Third day eating bullshit in a row. And it's a classic, it's Whopper Wednesday. Even though they have them on two for two for nine all the time, it's basically always Whopper Wednesday for me because I always just get two Whoppers on Whopper Wednesday, but they sell them two for nine all the time. But it is Wednesday and it's Whoppers. It's been a long, long time. I'm going in, the line's too long in the drive-thru. We don't like it. I'll be back, I'll see you soon. Okay. Shh, shh, shh. hear that? Squiggly, squeakly. Yeah. His serpentine belt is acting up, okay? <laughs> He's gotta fix it. Could be a pulley, could be a bearing, could be the belt, could be the alternator. Could be anything. No, I think it's probably, probably a bearing. Did a couple tests. Did a couple tests on the serpentine belt. Let's quiet out the noise, shall we? But yes, he did a couple tests on the serpentine belt. That's a belt. It basically operates my fan, my fan for the end on. Oh, shit. anyways, you already know what it is. It's two whoppers, heavy all done up. The OG specialist was on the table today. This guy has been at this BK forever, forever. He knows how to build and they're feeling very weighty, very, very weighty. Um, instead of the regular onion, because they have the angry Whopper currently, they have angry onions, angry, angry crispy onions. You know that I substituted the regular onions for crispy. So let's get into a couple of these. I'm into the baby bonnets lately and we'll have some chats. I'm just, I'm just getting off the job. It's 8.30 at night. And it's still light out, and we love that. And, uh, you know, I got more shit in the back of my vehicle, and I got dump runs to do, and you know what I mean? Okay. When I say I'm into the bonnets, this is what I mean. I've been just loving tucking a burger in, just like this lately. Ooh, wee. Look at that. Just like that pickle hanging out with that tomato. That first bite is going to be nice. Before we get fully started here today, I have to warn you, I will be talking about some disturbing things. Uh, some people will not probably want to hear, but I won't be, I won't be graphic. I just went down a crazy wild rabbit hole because I don't pretend that the world is all rainbows, butterflies, and gumdrops because I know that the world is full of dark, demonic, disgusting atrocities and people are born into insane situations so i thank my lucky stars every day that my life is not like how some other people's have been but uh, i found this podcast randomly um which led me to an even darker documentary curiosity got the best of me and it disgusted me okay but anyways let's bite this first This is a conversation for all my people out there who aren't afraid to seek the truth about certain very disturbing things about the world that we live in. I think in the last few years, a lot of the darkness of the rich and the elite and the whole, you know, Epstein Island type stuff, the pedal rings. And the, you know, like the black market, the sex slavery, the sex trafficking, a lot of that has come to light in the world. I think, you know, people are becoming more privy to it now. And I stumbled upon 
this uh, podcast episode called What You Would Search. I can't remember exactly the name of the host. But if you're intrigued to watch it, it's very interesting. Um, it's called the most, the world's most ethical hacker. And it's this dude, he's 29. And he is self-educated. Grew up. Just a computer nerd. He's got a very interesting story. He's accomplished so much by the age of 29. But essentially, he became one of the most proficient hackers like ever. deep in the dark back door of the internet on the dark web and stuff and i've always had a fascination with i've always been an insatiably curious person so i've always known about the dark web you know all the black markets for murders for hire my like hitman wild videos from people being held captive like those soldiers and journalists and those type of videos and they're just crazy videos I've never really gone and watched them but I've I know that they exist I wouldn't even know how to access that shit but I know they exist. But anyways, this dude sort of tells his life story, but the main focus is he uh, he catches. Well, he found a huge, like thousands deep name list of very like you know expensive people. high-end people and you just found like a just like a black market pedal ring with uh you know children images explicit children images i mean basically hunts them online He has brought his findings to major criminal justice, you know, I don't know the word, systems like CIA basically. And he wanted to go public with it and stuff and just nobody will touch it. And uh, it's just incredibly wild and disturbing. Just just the, the things that he details. He doesn't go into crazy detail, but Somebody said on my video the other day that, yesterday, that I'm a realist and a pessimist. And that is true <laughs> to some degree. Um, realist, for sure. And that's the thing. I don't shy away from the way that the world really is. That these things occur in the world like all day, every day. And it's just, you know, it's easier to just pretend like they don't and forget and just live in your own little ignorance bubble and just, you know, don't put any thought into it because it's like what can you do to change it it's very difficult to to affect any change but i don't pretend like these things don't occur because they do right i will say this when i was 12 years old curiosity got the best of me <laughs> when I was on Rotten.com 
and I watched the beheading and it messed me up for years. It was like a, a captive soldier beheading and it messed me up for years and I was just like, I can't believe this shit happens in the world. And then you start to realize just how real war really is and how nasty it is. Um, anyways, after watching this guy's interview and podcast, which he also addressed all these gadgets that like hackers and CIA uh, use and the things that they have that it's so easy to take over like you could they take over your computer your cell phone your car your home system like if you have a smart home get into your bank accounts everything just steal your entire life with a little device sitting over in the neighbor's house. Crazy. So that was very interesting. But from the comments, on that podcast somebody mentioned this documentary and they were like watch at your own risk I've warned you be ready to be repulsed probably turn it off get sick and I went down the rabbit hole If you're the type of person that is that this that is very curious and can handle it, it's called it's on YouTube. Two years old. It's by like a Russian guy, I believe. And it's called It's the Eye of the Devil. Yeah, I'm almost certain. The Eye of the Devil. It was almost impossible to watch. About... About trafficking, slavery, sexual slavery. I don't recommend it... To... extremely sensitive people who and I'm a sensitive person but I've always been like a truth seeker and I have to like once I know about something about the world I have to know the reality of that like I have to Yeah, as painful and crazy as it is to, to watch that shit and hear about it. But if you have the guts, check it out. It is insane. And it just shows you that, like, evil really exists in the world. Like, true evil. When they talk about demons, this is beyond demons. This is, this is evil. Like, this is, there's no other way to say it. It's pure, to the core, unadulterated evil. It was a one-time watch. Would never watch it again. My only thing on it 
is that credibility wise like it seems legitimate and very, it's, it, and very real but we also live in a world where people make sensational things call it real make it seem as if it's real all for that you know that that engagement of of you know what you're trying to sell to the public but even in itself if you were to fake this documentary and make it and it was fake like then that would just be as sick and evil in the sense so either way you slice it brutal but i think it's legit it seems very legit i just wish i could speak the, the language you get voiceovers with english and like subtitles and stuff i just wish i could hear i could understand the language firsthand because then i would be able to like better catch inflections and tones and know how to be like you know is that real is, is, is this person an act are they acting is this some actor shit but everybody in like everybody involved in the documentary like, their face is blurred out except for the one guy like every single person he interviews all blurred out their voices are muffled and shit so it's one of those type of things but yeah the eye of the devil it is the most disturbing disgusting documentary you can ever watch probably take heed okay i'm the type of person like i said i once I know of a thing in the world, I, I'm too curious to, to not know about it, to not see it through, to not know, like, holy shit, this actually happens in our world. All right, it's the golden hour. Let me know if you guys have what even, maybe some of you have seen already that podcast I'm talking about, The Most Ethical Hacker in the World. Very cool. He's, he's a super, like, using his powers for potential evil to the utmost good. And uh, he runs like he when he was in his early 20s, he started like rehab centers and stuff because he used to be a drug addict. But he's like crazy intelligent, super, um, you know, with tech and everything. He's super intelligent and then has all these businesses and clearly an extremely intelligent individual. Um, but he does good with his 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 like superpowers. You know what I mean? All right. Let me know if you watch it. You're probably going to be like, why did you tell me to watch this? But if I'm telling you, if you can't stomach it, don't watch it. Okay. Till the next one. Eat good, live well. Stay true.